What's up, people? Fury 617 here. It's been a while. Um, I want to talk about something that happened, I think, about a couple of days ago or sometime last week. But it really brought to my attention when they was talking about this on the news, uh, you know, earlier today. Um, you know, when we was little, you know, we all, you know, trying to find a way to make money, you know, like mowing the lawn, you know, you know, walking somebody's dog or shoveling in the snow, something like that. And oh, and also open up your old lemonade stand. But that's the main topic I want to talk about. Is the lemonade stand robbery happened in Pontiac, Michigan? Now these three little girls, you know, they doing a small business, you know. You know, selling you know lemonade to their favorite customers. You know, you know when somebody you know gets real thirsty, you know they just go up to them, buy lemonade from them, and uh, and I think they uh, selling lemonade for like fifty cents, something like that. Now this is a sad part right here. Two black teens. Yes, I said two black teens. Am I getting offended? Is y'all people getting offended by this? That's what happens. Yeah, two black boys come up to these three girls by the ages, I think between six or eight, something like that. Now, yeah, yeah, their money is in this box. I think it was sent on the lemonade stand. So, these boys came up to them asking, can they get some lemonade? All of a sudden, they just took the box of their hard work and money, and they just took off with it. Yeah, one bunch of fucking assholes. Robbing little kids. Yeah, that's a fucking shame. And uh, I heard that the amount of money that these girls made, I think it's like around like 40 or 50 bucks. Yeah, I think it's like around 40 or 50 bucks total. Yeah, that's pretty sad because that money that they made, you never know what they do. Yeah, because they, yeah, because let's say one of them wants to buy, you know, what they want to get their own bicycle. And then uh, all that amount of money, that could be enough money to uh, buy them a bicycle or whatever they're going to do with that money. Yeah, because, you know, they work very hard to earn what they want. And th and then these two assholes that they're, they're just gonna rob them just like that. Yeah, that's yeah, that's pretty pathetic, huh? Oh, and get this. Like I said earlier while I was watching the news today, they was talking about that. And them three girls, you know, that they got robbed from the boys they're going to continue you selling their lemonade. And they ain't the only thing. Ever since this whole story broke out, they was on Today, you know, with Al Walker and Mary Fiera, such and such. Yeah, them. Yeah, thanks to that one little incident, that story became national news. Wow. And I heard that one of the suspects, suspects, excuse me, you know, you know, that robbed the lemonade stand, I heard that he got in trouble with the law before. I heard that he uh, break into a home, break into people's homes and all that stuff. Yes, uh, you know, you know, this is, this is a crime that happens everywhere, you know, break into homes, you know, stealing, you know, uh, car thefts and all that stuff. Come on, stealing, you know, stealing little kids from a lemonade stand? Come on. Yeah, so, um, all I got to say is, you know, I'm very sorry that happens to these three little girls. And then, you know, they work very hard yet, yet to make that money that they want. And then all those, you know, customers, you know, you know, these customers, you know, they very proud of them. They making their own money, you know, helping the community out. Especially, this is the summer season, 
summer season. And, and you know people get real thirsty, you know, you got to stay high, you know, hydrated. Uh, excuse me. <clears throat> All right. Excuse me. Like I say, you know, it's the summer season, and you know, you know, you gotta keep yourself cool down with the we, you know, with the refreshments and all that, the beverages. You know, you gotta quench your thirst, and then that's what these little girls is doing. You know, helping you know people out. You know, like I say, you know, you never know. You know, they want yeah. You never know how you know they want to spend their money, but you know, this is their way to do their business, and then you got two pathetic. Assholes just going to bother them just like that. Yeah, that's a fucking shame, you know, what kind of world that we living in. Yeah, so I'm going to post a link to the to the news stories. So you can check them out for yourselves. And um, like I said, I'm very sorry that these little girls, you know, they got robbed just like that. Broad daylight. And, uh... And I'm glad they're not going to stop their business because that stupid one little incident. They're going to continue on doing what they got to do. And uh, if I was around that area, you know, I'd be gladly to put my 50 bucks to these girls because they work very hard. You know, because they made all that money and then somebody just going to rob them just like that. So, uh, I'm glad that, you know, they're continuing doing what they got to do, you know, selling lemonade. And, um, yeah, so that's all I got to say. Till next time, pe people, I'm the Fear 617 saying peace out. And I will say this. If I open up a lemonade stand and them boys is going to rob me, Hey, I got something for their ass.